Good day grade 10. How's your day today? I am Sir Rainier, your teacher guide for Science 10, Quarter 2, Module 3. I am here to help you understand your self-learning module. Here are a few reminders to help you succeed in studying this week's video module, together with the most essential learning competencies. Set a conducive learning space. Seek assistance from your parents or guardians. Take down important concepts. List questions you would like to ask from your teacher and reflect and apply the concepts you have learned. Here are the most essential learning competencies for Quarter 2, Module 3. Cite examples of practical applications of the different regions of EM waves, such as the use of radio waves in telecommunications, S10-FT-2C-D-48. Now let us move to the expectations and outcomes. 1. Explain how radio waves are generated, transmitted, and received in television and radio communication. 2. Compare the relative wavelengths, frequencies, and energies of the different regions of electromagnetic waves. 3. Explain how infrared waves are used in electronic appliances, night vision goggles, medical diagnosis, and communication. Now let's move to our pre-test. Please prepare your pen and paper for your answers. You will be answering 10 items and choose the best answer from the options. Are you ready? 1. What part of EM spectrum can penetrate through the thick layer of the atmosphere? A. Infrared B. Microwave C. Radio wave D. Visible light 2. What electromagnetic wave is produced by making electrons vibrate in an antenna? A. Infrared B. Microwave C. Radio wave D. X-ray 3. Communication is an example of what type of wave? A. Infrared B. Microwave C. Radio wave D. X-ray 4. What type of radio waves are used to broadcast FM station? A. Ultra high frequency B. Extremely high frequency C. Very high frequency D. Low frequency satellite 5. Which of the following energy transformations occur at the receiving station? A. Sound energy to electrical energy B. Electromagnetic energy to sound energy C. Electrical energy to electromagnetic energy D. Electromagnetic energy to electrical energy 6. What type of electromagnetic wave has the longest wavelength in the EM spectrum? A. Infrared B. Microwave C. Radio wave D. Visible light 7. Which of the following reasons best explain why microwaves are used for cooking? A. Because it can heat food through radiation. B. Because microwaves produce an alternating current. C. Because microwave is a device that uses electricity to heat food. D. Microwaves cause water molecules in food to vibrate, producing heat that cooks the food. 8. Which of the following devices uses a thermal imaging device technology to capture infrared light? A. Cell phone B. Night vision goggles C. Satellite D. Television 9. What type of electromagnetic wave is widely used for wireless communication? A. Infrared B. Microwave C. Radio wave D. Visible light Satellite communication is an application of what type of wave? A. Infrared B. Microwave C. Radio wave D. X-ray Kindly visit the link below to answer the same pre-test questions to know your score. The link is now provided at the description area of this video module. Thank you. Looking back, let's move to this part and answer 5 item quiz. Please get ready with your pen and paper. 1. Which of the following subatomic particles is negatively charged? A. Protons B. Electrons C. Neutrons D. None of the above 2. Which of the following produces an electromagnetic wave? A. An electron with constant speed B. An electron orbiting outside the nucleus C. An electron with both electric and magnetic fields D. An electron found in the outermost shell 3. What is the range of frequencies of electromagnetic radiation and their respective wavelengths and photons' energies? A. Electromagnetic spectrum B. Electromagnetic frequency C. 
electromagnetic range D electromagnetic wave 4 what is a stream of charged particles such as electrons or ions moving through an electrical conductor or space A electric circuit B electric current C electric charge D none of the above 5 which of the following quantities are said to be inversely proportional? A. Energy and frequency B. Wavelength and frequency C. Energy and electric current D. Wavelength and distance Grade 10, let me introduce the topic for this video module number 3. Did you send text messages to somebody today? Or have you watched your favorite TV shows? Do you have any idea on how education will be made possible in the new normal setup? Well, electromagnetic waves play a big part in this new normal. In this video lesson, you will understand how messages in the form of signals are transmitted from one person to another using communication devices such as cell phone, television, and radio. Radio waves are part of the electromagnetic spectrum. It has the longest wavelength and carries the lowest energy since it has the lowest frequency. It is produced by vibrating electric current in an antenna and is widely used for wireless communication. To send information via radio waves, a transmitting antenna or transmitter sends out a radio wave at a certain frequency and this is received by a receiving antenna or receiver. Radio waves bend around buildings and hills by diffraction. It is good at sending information to many people. In terms of wavelength, microwave has shorter wavelength than radio wave but longer than the other waves in electromagnetic spectrum. It is produced by magnetron. It can penetrate through the atmosphere. That is why it is best used if the broadcast is live via satellite. It is good in sending signals to a specific receiver, example, point-to-point -point communication. For cooking, microwaves are used by heating up the water molecules from food. The infrared consists of electromagnetic or EM frequency between microwaves and the visible light. Infrared radiation is the type of EM wave most often associated with heat. All objects emit infrared. Our body radiates infrared and the color of infrared radiation depends on the temperature of the body part emitting the wave that is why under infrared camera or night goggles, our image appears colorful. Applications of radio waves and microwaves in wireless communication Today, conversations, data, and even music can be transmitted through air over millions of kilometers because of radio waves. Wireless communication has become possible through transmission and reception of these radio waves. Remember, radio waves can be transmitted through empty space. Radio waves have the longest wavelength in the electromagnetic spectrum. They are produced by making electrons vibrate in an antenna. Medium and high frequency waves are used for broadcasting by local radio stations. In a radio station, Sound is converted by a microphone into patterns of electric current variations called audio frequency or AF signals. High frequency radio waves called radio frequency carriers can be modulated to match the electronic signal. In amplitude modulation or AM, the amplitude of the radio waves or RF carrier changes to match that of the audio frequency or AF signal. This is used in standard broadcasting because it can be sent over long distances. Very high frequency waves provide a higher quality broadcasting including stereo sound. In this process, instead of the amplitude of the RF carrier, it is the frequency of the waves that changes to match that of the signal. This is called frequency modulation or FM. When the radio wave is received by the antenna of a radio or television, the pattern is converted back to its original form. The sound portions of most television broadcasts are carried as AM waves while the picture portions are carried as FM waves. They are used to transmit sound and picture information over long distances.
microwaves can penetrate the atmosphere of the Earth. This is the reason why they are used for satellite communications. Most communication satellites are used to send and receive radio signals for television services, while the rest are for television broadcasting, scientific research, and weather forecast. Microwaves have short wavelengths and are reflected by small objects. This property is used in radars. Radar is an acronym of Radio Detection and Ranging. A radar system consists of an antenna, transmitter, and a receiver. The antenna whirls around continuously to scan the surrounding area. The transmitter sends out a narrow beam of microwaves in short pulses. A distant object reflects some of the signal back to the receiver. The direction to which the signal was received gives the direction of the object. The distance of the object can be calculated from the time lag between the transmitted pulse and the reflected pulse. Microwaves are used to transmit television news coverage from mobile broadcast vehicles back to the station. A cell phone is a radio transmitter and receiver that uses microwaves. Cellular phone is a very sophisticated radio, but still a radio nonetheless. Infrared Applications These are infrared photographs and videos taken from a satellite. Infrared scanners or thermal scanners are used to show the temperature variation of the body. Let's move to the generalization part of this video module. Radio waves. Radio waves are used for communication such as television and radio. Radio waves are transmitted easily through air. They do not cause damage if absorbed by the human body and they can be reflected to change their direction. These properties make them ideal for communications. Microwaves Microwaves are used for cooking food and for satellite communications. Infrared Infrared light is used by electrical heaters cookers for cooking food, and by infrared cameras which detect people in the dark, security lights and remote controls for TV use infrared waves. This time grade 10, we are going to answer your check your understanding part of this video module. Are you ready? Instructions Identify what type of EM waves are used in wireless communications and other applications. Use the following letters, R for radio waves. M for microwaves and I for infrared. 1. AM FM radio broadcast. 2. Cell phone. 3. Microwave oven. 4. Night vision goggles. 5. Radar. 6. Cable TV. 7. Satellite communication. 8. Remote control. 9. Infrared scanners. 10. Television broadcast. Answer the same check your understanding questions in this Google form to know your score. Kindly visit the link below found on the description area of this video module. Thank you. Grade 10, please prepare your pen and paper for this post test. 1. What characteristics of radio waves made it possible to be used in wireless communication? A. Higher frequency. B. Shorter wavelength. C. Higher energy. D. Longer wavelength. 2. What type of electromagnetic wave is used for cooking food? A. Infrared B. Microwave C. Radio wave D. Visible light 3. How radio waves do propagate? A. Radio waves propagate through solid media B. Radio waves can travel at the speed of light in vacuum C. Radio waves propagate like the other electromagnetic waves D. Radio waves can propagate from transmitter to the receiver 4. Which type of radio waves are used to broadcast FM station? A. Infrared 
B. Microwave C. Radio Wave D. X-Ray Five. Satellite communication is an application of what type of wave? A. Infrared B. Microwave C. Radio Wave D. X-Ray 6. What type of electromagnetic wave is produced by making electrons vibrate in an antenna? A. Infrared B. Microwave C. Radio Wave D. X-Ray 8. What part of EM spectrum is used in sending signals to a specific station or point-to-point? -point? A. Infrared B. Microwave C. Radio wave D. Visible light 9. Why does a person appear colored when seen using an infrared camera? A. Because the body transmits visible light B. Because of the lenses present in the camera C because it is designed to give a colored image of a person D. Because of the differences in the temperature of the different body parts 10. What type of EM waves are radio waves, microwaves, and infrared? A. Non-ionizing B. Ionizing C. Charging D. Oscillating Answer the same post-test questions in this Google form to know your score visit that link below found on the description area of this video module. Thank you. Thank you. You have completed your Science 10 Quarter 2 Module 3 video module. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for the next Science 10 Quarter 2 video modules. Thank you very much and God bless us all.